last time we've seen how to turn artichokes. So I saved the heart and today I am going to make artichaut à la barigoule. It's a specialty from uh, southern France, Provence. And it is to die for. So let's get to work. So first I am going to show you how to uh, medium dice carrots. To do so, you want to use large carrots. Trim and cut carrots into three inch portions and square off the sides to form a rectangle. Cut each rectangle into slabs and each slab into half inch batonet, sticks. Then cut the sticks into medium dice, also called parmentier cuts. Aren't they cute? And of course, save scraps for the stock. Next, chop an onion. And by the way, these amazing braised artichokes à la barigoule can be made for vegetarians. You just have to make a couple of adjustments using veggie stock instead of chicken stock and you may want to substitute bacon for tempeh for instance. Next, in order to peel off your pearl onions effortless, blanch them for 30 seconds. These little things are optional but what an elegant touch-up. I guess the prep is done. Mmm, can you smell the chicken stock? So first, I am going to saute my bacon with a little bit of olive oil. Cook for two minutes on medium-high. Then I am going to add the chopped onions, carrots, crushed garlic, pearl onions, and of course, the artichoke's heart. Give a good stir, and I'm going to season with salt and pepper. Dude, that smells so great. Next, I am going to deglaze with the wine and reduce the whole thing by two thirds. And I am going to add my aromatics and chicken stock. the time it is braising slowly on low heat. It should take about 30 minutes though. I am going to nail my basil pesto and to get a vibrant green, blanch basil leaves for a few seconds, drain and squeeze out remaining water and process with garlic, parmigiano, pine nuts and olive oil. If pine nuts though are too expensive, use slivered almonds instead. I wish you could smell this, it's incredible. So the whole dish can be served as is, or you can plate it up, filling each artichoke heart with the drained veggie mixture and top with some pesto. And of course, the liquid from the braising can be degreased and served with, or you can use it for your next soup. I am Bruno Albuz. Thank you again for watching, guys. It's always a pleasure to have you around my table. To get the full recipe, go to brunoskitchen.net. Please subscribe, it's free. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. And like me on Facebook. Ciao, ciao.